Hi, Sam, Sebastian, Praise, and Jenea. This is Mr. Yang. Well, I think war is like this video will fix itself in just a minute. And, yeah, because for teenagers, you okay, don't so really you're gonna hear my that. voice um, like like in the background like as we watch this video together. The purpose of me being here is, like is to give you some feedback again, about how to improve as a discussion group. Well, not somebody, but to highlight some, some positives and also offer some suggestions. I'll be telling you what your grade is at the end, end of the discussion. Taking, so make sure you hang tight and, and uh, listen in, parents. even when the video stops. Okay, so right off the really beginning so here, I notice uh, several of you just going ahead and answering the question. Praise, that was a great like moment to, to build on, videos, and you did. Once again, you're being captured from everything that you have or had, and just Sam is expanding the idea. That is just Praise here, I would uh, recommend you that like, you, uh, uh, I know you're you actively listening, see. but um, giving Sam like, um, some more frequent uh, eye contact. When you see when you see something that's going on, it's like, oh, that's that's horrible. But when you experience it, you have a bunch of different feelings and how. So here, if I were part of the group, I would ask yeah, Sam, "Hey, Sam, what are those actual feelings that you are you're referring to?" Going through it at that moment, live, mm -hmm. rather than seeing something happen before when you're not actually there. Your discussion would be made much stronger if you're using the text. That, um, in the book and according to the movie. Um, there you go, Jenea. The little boy, he was like, they were in war and he this lost his This moment where friend. you said in the book and then he is was the really, moment really where you should have asked like everyone to open up their books he was like to find student. evidence for this idea. Don't talk outside of the text. Here's one of the first of a few awkward moments where you really don't know what now to say. How would it feel like Praise fills in the space, the silence. That's a great question. I think I feel lost. I feel but like again, I you're talking about your personal choice, but experiences, because, and you have never been in the shoes um, of a child soldier. So you can use this moment captured. to talk about being a child soldier, no but at the same time, I would suggest to to, backing it up with evidence. Um, there's going to be that new person that I'm going to look up to. So. I, would, I agree with Sebastian. I think that I would just go with it so I don't get hurt. Um, this makes you think that, or think about, like, people around in the United States that lose their parents and are obligated to go somewhere else and to rely to do something else in the streets and to do other things to get their mind distracted and leave the important things out because they lost something so important to them. I want to know more about when, like, an older um, soldier, like when they're in war and stuff like that, if they lose like a younger child soldier, how would they feel and like if that's family to them and stuff like that? That's me. Oh. Another quiet moment. This also makes me think. Okay. That it might be like losing a brother to you because they're not All right. part of your family. Here you go, Sebastian. I looked up into the ceiling because I really wanted you to like use the text to support that idea. Although you're talking about being a child soldier, you're talking outside of the text itself. And pretty soon I'm going to look to the left and notice that Sam is actually 
Sam actually opens the book, but no one else does. And I wonder why, Sam, you aren't drawing um, attention to the text. What are you looking for? I even zoomed in on it. What do you want to say here? Somebody here could have said, so what does the book have to say about this? And you could pause to do a round where everybody investigates. Awkward moment because you're not using the book. Awkward moment. In the book. There you go, have, praise. Is she no vain to be so strong when he so, plays with me by I himself? don't know if you heard it, but I had a little grunt there because the praise does say in the book and she doesn't go How and open it. How, How are you supposed to justify your claims without evidence? I think it's like a cycle. Like, uh, for example, like if someone goes to your country or town and starts terrorizing and you lose your parents and you grow up to like have revenge and to look for that person and to, I don't know, like kill them or get just revenge and then you just need more people, right? Because you, uh, you need soldiers to defend your back and stuff. So I think people just keep... It's just like a cycle. People keep dying and people just want people. All right, so the video is going to stop here and it stops on my shoe. This um, was a struggle in some ways because I think you, all three of you were, un four of you were unclear about how uh, this was supposed to go. You had some expectations about, um, uh, well, you were trying to figure out what my expectations were, which was to talk. And obviously that's important, but what I care more about is your ability to talk with the primary source, to pro talk with the text. As you continue on in this, um, as you continue on practicing your discussion moves, uh, I'd like you to make use of rounds. Rounds is when somebody in the group says, let's stop and figure out what someone means when they say something. And then you all take two or three minutes to look in the text to find the evidence for that. Someone might get really excited and say, oh, on, page, on chapter four, I remember when the author wrote da-da-da-da-da. So that's my primary piece of feedback. You show pretty strong command of, or adequate command, excuse me, um, of your accountable talk moves, but you're not completely comfortable with them yet. So that needs a little bit more practice. Uh, as you... Um, continue to practice this, make sure you remember that this is all about what the author's point of view is and how the author has described his unique experience. Only then can you make some real connections with your own experiences. I appreciate how you are thinking about what you would do if you were in that position, but I don't hear enough talk about how the author is actually describing his. Right now your grade is a C plus. I'd like you to continue to practice and develop your ability to talk more fluently. I'll be looking for changes in this the next time we do the assessment, which should be this Thursday. Thanks.